What's up guys, Elphis here, and today we're going to be doing some more Han tips. This one is going to be about Congor, uh, i.e. when to do Congor and how to do Congor effectively. So, real quick, we're going to random and torture, that's fine with us. Oops, I don't have any skins for torture, so no, no, no. I meant to click ready. Uh, we're going to go into it, and I am just going to grab some wards and such, and then we're going to head over to Congor. Uh, and some boots for some speeds. Everybody likes speeds. Um, so, real quick before we start, I just want to say Merry Christmas. Or, or rather, Happy Holidays, because not everybody, I guess, celebrates Christmas. Uh, support it. Or rather, no, initiative. I don't know why the boots are an initiative. It's, I mean, I guess technically they're initiative, but not really. <laughs> I mean... I don't know, I, they're just not really. Word of Revelation is unavailable. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Max our hero. Then we're going to go items, wards, uh, token of stealth. I'm not, I'm not sure why these tokens come up for wards, but I'm just going to get a few of these. Get some wards, some in, some counter wards, just so we can, uh, just so I can show you good locations for doing said wards. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and max my move speed. Because I think it's fun to do that, and then watch the guys run around. <laughs> oh god, it's awesome. It's also fun to watch it when you do uh, max attack speed, because they like don't even have time to do their attack animation, so they just like shoot the attack without even like watch. I'll show you, it. Uh, even though it's not part of the video. Sorry, but so like if I back off, and Congo's maxing speed too. Like there's no even animation. My guy just like throws the things. <laughs> okay, though, back to enough lols. All right. Um, Okay, so first thing, when to do Congor. Well, oops. Well, there's two there's two um, times to do Congor, really. The first one being uh, after you've won a big team fight. Uh, a big team fight meaning not just killed one of their players and you're like, alright, Congor time. No. Uh, big team fight meaning, you know, 5v5, 4v4, whatever, 5v4, whatever, you know what I mean? You need to have killed probably at least three of their players, I would say. But sometimes you can get by with killing two I guess but I would recommend at least three uh, and, and probably have the other two oops probably have the other two low enough that they need to go back or something and they can't harass you while you're doing Congo or something uh, so you need to have won the team fight and then that's that's the first requirement of the first part but the second requirement is you need to have enough damage slash survivability to do Congo and if you didn't genocide the genocide the other team and to also defend the potential enemy harassment slash attack that will very likely be coming when you do Congor. So what I just want to say real quick is, you know, people aren't stupid, I guess. Maybe they don't think things through, but, you know, if you kill, you know, three of their team members and then all five of you go missing in the direction of Congor, it's not rocket science to figure out you're doing Congor. I mean, even if they don't have a ward, somebody could probably say, hey, wait a minute, they just went over there. Aren't they doing Congor, maybe? Yeah, they are. So... So keep that in mind, you know, the enemy may come after you when you go to do Congor. So that that's the first time you can do Congor, and those are the two requirements for it. The second time you can do Congor is if you have enough vision on the map to see uh, at least, I would say at least four of their members. If, if one of them's missing, that's, that's okay, but I would say at least four of their members, and um, you know that they, that you have this that they don't have sight on the pit, so they can't see you doing it. And I'll show you the, the, the ward locations for that in a second. So if they have sight, if you're not sure, for example, if you didn't counter ward it, I would say don't do it because there's, I mean, well, you know what, actually, not necessarily don't do it, but you can start to do it. So, you know, start attacking it. And then if you see, like, you know, keep an eye on your mini-map for a few minutes. And if you see, you know, three of them head in your direction or something, well, they probably have that warded, so you should probably stop. But... So those are the two times to do Congor. Why would you do Congor? Well, you would do Congor because, uh, for, well, for mainly there's only one reason, but sometimes people do it for the other, for a second reason. So the first reason I call it breaking the base. Uh, you know, some people just call it killing their racks or something, but you know, basically this ramp, getting inside this ramp is rather difficult unless you're really far ahead or have a token of life. So if you get a token of life, you can then. Ooh, I'm all over the place. You can then uh, push your way up the ramp, kill a tower, maybe win a team fight as well, and then get some racks. That's pretty much the reason for Congor. Otherwise, there's not really much reason in taking a risk and going for it. The second reason that some people like to use is to um, win team fights. And you know, pro professional players. If you watch professional players do it, you'll see them. Uh, you know, they'll do they'll sneak Congor sometimes, and they'll win some team fights and push some outer towers. That's usually not necessary. 
but uh, you can you can do it. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a, a unnecessary risk you you would be taking by attempting Congor. I mean, if you've just won a team fight, you know there's no way they can contest it. Then sure, that's helpful, I guess. But but you know, usually just put it pushing outer towers is better than doing Congor. But I mean, that's my opinion. Some some professional players or some just good players may argue and say that you know the Congor is more important because then you can push and you know. But, but I, I don't know. It's it's slightly debatable. But I would say the really only reason you need to do Congor is to break the base. Um, now, with that being said, uh, ward locations. To do Congor efficiently and effectively, or maybe just effectively, rather, I guess, but but either way, you need to have proper sight. So, when I say, I mentioned earlier that you need to have enough sight to see when, you know, see at least four of the enemy team members. This is not proper sight. I have absolutely no wards on the map. Even if they were in lanes, I still would say not to do it with no wards. You want to have a couple wards just so you can see if they do start coming or something. So, I, I mean, you could attempt it, but it's I, I just wouldn't recommend it without wards. So, ward locations. Um, first, I'm going to do counter ward locations. Well, actually, no, we'll do Congor ward locations. So, these are wards that are used to see if somebody is attempting Congor or not. So, there's this one, then there's possibly, you know, somewhere in the pit. It could be here, it could be in the back here. It really doesn't make a difference. I'm just going to put it right next to Congor. And then there's another one up here on this cliff, and um, if you do it on some of the other cliffs, uh, unless they've changed it, the last time I attempted it, if you like put it on the wrong cliff, like this one right here or something like that, it doesn't give you vision. There's some like bug that like you know bugs out and it restricts the vision to just on the cliff or something. I'm not sure, but so keep that in mind. And then the other two possible like Congor locations are somewhere in the middle here. I'm just gonna throw it there, and then the other one would be like up here. And a, every now and then you'll see someone have a ward like here, maybe. Uh, it's not wrong, it's just, I don't think it's it's quite as useful. But again, you know, it's a potential one. So, uh, obviously those are the locations. Now, would I say you need to get, you know, six, or rather five, because these two would overlap, five counter wards? Or, well, you could even overlap a couple of these, but you know what I mean, like five counter wards? No, just counter ward a couple, you know what I mean? A couple of the obvious ones. So probably you want one in the pit. And then have a, you won't be able to see this, you know, by the way, so you'll want to have your courier or somebody, you know, portal key up here, or your courier fly over or something. And then the, you know, maybe like one out here or something, like one like right here. So, you know, like that. So you could see, I think that was, oh, well, just a little bit over, like right there. So you could like see somewhere in the middle and on the cliff, you know what I mean? Or maybe you could just do it in the middle if you want, if you're comfortable with that. It's kind of whatever you're comfortable with. So... So there's that, you know, uh, you know, for this one, I would, again, make them overlap. So throw it somewhere in the middle there so you can see, like, on the cliff end up there. Uh, and then, again, in the middle, just, like, throw it in the middle and then have the thing run over. Uh, now, sometimes you'll see players also, like, counter ward, maybe. Uh, sometimes you'll see them counter ward like this to get, you know, this potentially. And, you know, maybe up here if somebody's dumb enough to put one up there. That's really not a good ward spot. But, you know, again, well, you know, just watch the wards video if you need help with the ward and stuff. Although it doesn't cover Congo wards, so you'll have to keep watching this for the Congo wards. But, you know, and then sometimes you'll see one counter here just in case they see, like, one up here or something. Uh, but that's that's pretty much unnecessary. I'd say these two are not necessary, like, wards. Uh, but that's just me, I guess. I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, some people, some people may think that those are required. I, I wouldn't, but you know, I mean, especially not in lower leagues. But uh, so, anyways, that that's enough on that. So now, uh, those are your warding locations to see Congor wards. Now you need to have wards of your own to be able to do Congor. You need to know when the enemy team's coming. So first of all, I'm gonna cover lesion wards. So lesion wards. Uh, if you're doing Congor blind without any wards, by the way. Uh, you're stupid. <laughs> I mean, unless you've just genocided the enemy team, there's absolutely no excuse for doing this, you know what I mean? But, lesion wards. So you're gonna want one up here, guaranteed. There's there's absolutely no case where you won't want one up, want one up there. This, this is like the most used anti-Congor route in the game, probably, and it'll help when they're coming from this side, too. So there's that one that you want to have. Sometimes you'll see people put one here, or maybe up here on the cliff somewhere to see when people are coming from over here. I don't think it's necessary if you have this one, though. But, you know, sometimes you'll see people do it. Uh, you know, it it's not terrible, I guess. But, so there's that. Then, other than that, the only other one that would really uh, be, I guess, recommended, but again, not required, is, and this one's kind of situational. This is if you're doing Congor, you know, while they're laning or jungling or whatever, and you're trying to sneak it, not after you've won a team fight. But sometimes I put one here so you can see if the top lane or junglers are coming up like that. Uh, that's that's helpful too, I guess. Um, 
So those are your Legion boards. You really only need one, maybe two, to see it. So, you know, don't be cheap. You can even buy them right here before you place it over there, you know? I mean, the only thing is that, you know, you gotta be, you know, careful when you're buying over here. Uh, you know, if, in case the enemies are gonna be there. But, uh, other than that, you know, uh, because obviously you're buying, if you're buying the ward for this, you probably don't have sight over here. But, anyways, uh, so those are your, those are your Legion wards. That's if you're Legion doing the, the Congor pit. Uh, doing Congor. So that's, those are wards you're, you're gonna potentially want. And sometimes you'll see people put a ward, like, right in here somewhere. Again, I don't think it's 100% necessary, but, you know, it's possible, I guess. Usually when you're doing Congor, this tower's already been pushed, and so your creeps should be going back and forth in here sometimes anyways, so. But, I mean, not always. I guess if you're doing an, or an early Congor, for example, uh, Wild Soul. Uh, Wild Soul can do an early Congor, uh, because he's Wild Soul. <laughs> Uh, you know, he can, uh, unless they changed it at least, he could do a Congor at like 14, 15 solo. Uh, Gauntlet can do an early Congor, but not solo, he needs help. Uh, War Beasts potentially could do it solo at some, I mean at some point he can do it solo. Not necessarily very early on, I don't think he can do it as early as Wild Soul, I would say probably 18 to 20 for War Beasts, but that's an estimate, I've never, that's just a guess, I've never actually tried to, uh, solo it as War Beast, you know. But, um, so yeah. And then there's a few others that can do Congor pretty easily. But, uh, you know, like Keeper of the Forest, Balfagor, things like that. Uh, but so anyways, um, yeah, so sometimes you'll see a Warden here for the Legion. Uh, if you've got this tower pushed already, it's not necessary. But if you don't, then maybe it might be a, a good idea. I don't know. It depends where they all are. Um, I'm not sure. So, uh, or actually, even if you had the tower pushed, it's not a terrible ward location. So, you know, it's kind of up to you. It's kind of up to how the game's going. So, again, you know, again, I've said it in other videos. All these tips are like guidelines. They're not laws. So... Don't follow them to the letter. This is an idea of how to do it. You know, it, it's kind of by the game. You kind of do it by the game. So uh, then if you're Hellborn, ward locations to put are, there's one. This is probably the, you know, only one you'll need really is this one right here. But sometimes people like to get a little bit more vision and a little bit more warning. So sometimes you'll see them do, instead of one here, they'll do two. They'll do one, like, maybe here somewhere in this area. You know, you could do it here, but usually it's off to the side here somewhere. You know, something like that. So you could see this and down here. Uh, and then if you're going to do that one, you, uh, you don't have to, but I would highly recommend that you do one here as well. Just so you can see both paths that they could take. Uh, and then the other thing is sometimes you'll see people put one up here to see um, when they're coming like very early, to see if they're heading in that general direction very early. Although at a certain point in the game, this would be a good ward location to have anyway, so you may not need to place one there specifically for when you're doing combat. Uh, but, uh, it, you know, in, especially in lower leagues, I would say this is the only one you need. And then you just need to have map mini-map awareness and just keep looking down to see if they're there. If you see somebody walk in the range of this, back out of Congor. You should not be continuing to do Congor. Unless he's really low and you don't want them to get the token, you want to just grab it real quick and get out. Even then, it, it, depending on how low, it's kind of risky. But, you know, if you're, if you're confident that it's that you can, you know, do it real quick before they jump on you, then that's a good, that's fine. Do it. Uh, you know, because then you'll potentially win the team fight that's going to be ensuing from the Congor fight. But, um, other than that, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Uh, so with that being said, I just want to say uh, a couple things real quick. Once again, happy holidays to everybody. As well as, um, I just want to say a uh, new series coming up. Um, I'm probably going to start doing like a patch notes review. I haven't come up with a title yet, yet for it. But, you know, like every Friday I'll probably start reviewing the patch notes. Um, like, you know, going over it and talking about how it's changing the game, how it's making heroes more or use less useful, or even potentially entirely useless, or entirely useful from useless. Um, so I'm, I'm probably going to start doing that, uh, as well as, uh, if anybody has any tips, suggestions, I still have some ideas that I'll keep posting videos with, uh, but if you want something you would like to see, you know, ASAP, please let me know, post in the comments, and I'll do a video about that ASAP, uh, you know, I kind of take suggestions over my own thoughts, because if you guys want to hear something, I want to teach it to you. So, um, there's that. And then, one more thing is analysis. I, I know not a lot of people watch these, but if anybody who does watch them wants me to look at one of their games and analyze it, like, break it down to the letter, like, you know, watch their game and tell them exactly what they're doing wrong, exactly what they need to fix, exactly what they're doing right and should continue to do, you know, blah, 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 then feel free to either inbox me a, you know, uh, replay number or something, and I will look it up, or, you know, and, and tell me if you want me to specifically look at something, like, you know, my positioning is it good, or, you know, something like that. I'll try and cover everything, but if you want something in specific, that would be, uh, 
great if you could let me know. So other than that, um, again, for the third time, I believe, happy holidays. <laughs> uh, but with that being said, you know, like and subscribe, you know where those buttons are, hit them if you want, uh, or the dislike button if you would like, but please tell me why, I'd appreciate that. And um, other than that, though, I will talk to you guys later. Or maybe not, if the world ends tomorrow, I guess we'll know. <laughs> I guess uh, this could be my last video, potentially, so in that case, maybe goodbye. I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, but either way, I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow, so uh, see you around, guys. Elf is out.